Well, like most of us, you've probably been glued to the coverage of Superstorm Sandy, and a big part of that coverage includes satellite images of the storm. What you may not realize is that virtually every weather satellite picture you see on TV first goes to the UW Space Science Building on campus. Earlier today, we sat down with the Chair of Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences, Professor Jonathan Martin. Jonathan, just try and put this storm in perspective, if you could. It's nearly impossible to put it in perspective. I, I, I think it's literally true that nobody who's lived in the in mid-Atlantic seaboard has ever seen a storm like this. And it's likely that for generations, they won't see one like it again. People may not understand the significant role that UW-Madison is playing in this coverage. Yeah. It's, it's hard to overestimate it and overstate it. Uh, satellite meteorology was born and is thriving here at this department. Now, you think about what that means. Every time you see a satellite image on television, whether it's in the portrayal of this particular devastating system or even just the run-of-the-mill every night weather discussion, uh, that comes to the earth from space from the University of Wisconsin. So all that stuff is being ingested right here. It goes through this building. It goes through this building. And the reason is is because our Professor Sumi, who was here some years ago and, and died in the mid-90s, was the father of satellite meteorology. And he was a member of our department. And then he spawned the Space Science and Engineering Center with whom we share this building. So all of that science came from somebody watching a football game and thinking, watching instant replay and saying, hey, maybe we can do the same thing with satellite pictures from outer space and try and understand weather systems better. And now information from those satellites is ingested into our computer models. And that is one of the reasons why the, the forecast of storms like this, or even run of the mill, two weekends ago we had a rainy weekend. Everybody knew that a week in advance. We know this kind of stuff five or six or seven days in advance now, even when it's this kind of a devastating storm. And, and all the forecasts had that storm taking that left, and how many exactly lives do you right. think that saved, that forecast? It had to have saved, I would, I'll, I'll be conservative, dozens, if not hundreds. In terms of property, it must have saved millions, perhaps billions of dollars, because people could take that advance warning. You know, we were, we were evacuating Ocean City, Maryland, three days in advance. New York City, the mayor was talking about what to do with the subways two or three days in advance. Uh, almost nobody got caught, caught, caught by surprise. And for someone who makes a living studying weather systems like this, how fascinating has this week been for you and oh, your students? Oh, it's just been absolutely spectacular. You know, we, we, get, we get excited about the everyday weather because there's still so much we don't know. But when you get something like this that has a high impact on people uh, and also is well forecasted, you start to think to yourself, what is it about this storm that we can learn more about nature? Because we know we've got the tools that that'll tell us accurately what was going on to develop this thing because we were able to forecast it far in advance. Uh, so it's just, we're like kids in, candy, in a candy shop this week. It's just fantastic. They're going to be writing books about this storm. Oh yeah, and, and one of the other things is how many young meteorologists are going to be born out of this? How many first graders, how many kindergarten kids are staring out their window thrilled about two days off saying, wow, this weather is really worth uh, thinking about. That's how it was for me. So it's, I'm looking forward to that. 10 or 12 years from now, we'll have some of those kids come in here matriculating and we'll Tell him what happened. I was talking to Gary Canalti earlier. The same thing happened to him. I was, I was just going to say, we know one. We yeah. know a couple oh, of yeah, people absolutely. who got into weather that way.